Érable. Michael Ball! Oh, Dear. Nice it's crowd as always. They're not bad, are they? They're yeah. very, very warm and welcoming <laughs> in their price range. Yeah. How <laughs> did it feel then, looking at the movie and watching the Oscars and all that? It was, with that it thing was amazing. You were, right I, at the beginning, you were. I uh, the, the experience of first seeing the movie was strange because ITV had asked me to um, host a program about the uh, the red carpet and about yeah. the premiere. So I went along to a screening room, which is like a, a small cinema, uh, fifty seats. Just me, and a security bloke to make sure I didn't <laughs> film it. And, it. <laughs> and I sat and, and I, I, my heart was going when it yeah. started, and it opened. You had that music, da 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 da, and I went, oh my gosh, here it comes. And I watched it, and I wanted it to be brilliant, and it was, it was. You know, yeah. there were. I don't think it's. I, don't, I think it's flawed, as they would say themselves. You know, it's not. It's not a hundred percent. Perfect, but neither is the musical. Nothing's 100%. But there are moments that were so thrilling and, 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 and so many brave choices made by actors yeah. and the, the, the fact of them singing live. Let's, and, let's talk about the wonderful moments first, then. The okay. wonderful moments were what for you? The whole of Anne Hathaway's performance. Yeah. I mean, was... the fact that it was done... She may have done several takes, but it yeah. was filmed in one shot. Yeah. I couldn't get over that. Yeah, yeah. And, and you think about it, you think... Well, it shouldn't be done any other way. Yeah. You know, to, to actually... And, and it, it's, it, was that, it was there. Yes. It was there. And when you see it in the cinema, <laughs> there is no place to hide. It's all about truth. Elaine and... Page was on the show last week and she oh, said yeah. she didn't think they should have sung live. She said, because when you're singing live, you, you know, if it's going to be the definitive performance, yeah. you're in a studio, you can add, you can subtract, you can, you can get it absolutely I, I, right. I disagree. You disagree? I yeah. disagree. I think that they need... Because it's a through-sung musical, it wasn't speak and then do yeah. a number, like yeah. they used to, the, the good old days. Yeah. I think what it gave is an absolute... It, it made it feel like that was the language of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's the way people were going to talk. And every... New, and for me, I'm not hung up if people don't sing as brilliantly all the time. Because as long it's, as, as it's long, real. Exactly. Yeah. It's exa you know, and you, the flaws? It, the flaws were... I, I, they probably won't like me saying this, but I'll be honest, I didn't like the way they did bring him home. Mm. Um, the, the, the prayer. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, they've got, they shot it with him moving th around, and it should just be about that still moment of Valjean speaking to God to save Marius. Um, there are a, f a couple of performances which will remain nameless that I think could have been... Um, come on! Come, could have been... No! <laughs> <laughs> but generally, was... but generally... Yeah. It was... I mean, here's the thing, Alan. All of us who who have been involved in Les Mis over the years, especially, I think, those of us who were there when, when it was created, when we created it, have such a passion for the show. And we... And you're aware that everyone who subsequently has played the roles in, in casts in this country, around the world, share that passion and, and a, a protectiveness mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. And when I interviewed all of the, the people who were in the film, they had the same thing. Yeah. Amanda Seyfried got into the uh, into acting because of the, of seeing the, the musical. Yeah. Um, and Hathaway's mum... I saw her mother do it, didn't I mean, she? Can, to play uh, 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 um, Russell Crowe auditioned to try and get into... Uh, uh, into Miss Saigon, I think, but with something from... Uh, from, from Les Mis. So everyone has been influenced, and they've absolutely done it. And I've got the... Well, your new CD, Both Sides Now, have we got a bit of Les Mis on here? We've, well, we've... yeah, it, um, I, I was... At a, a, a do, and a lot of a few of these songs are sort of, sort of serendipitous how they came about. Yeah. But Cameron Macintosh was there, and he'd said, "Look, we, you, there is a new song in Les Mis, and you have to hear it. And you you should record it." So we went and and got a sound bite of uh, this is we, they were still editing it of Hugh Jackman's performance, sent it to me, and I phoned Claude Michel Schoenberg, who who wrote Les Mis, and said. I would love to do this. So the following week, we were in the studio. He, uh, Claude Michel came in and we worked together on it. Because, and we hadn't worked together since the original cast. I say, the delight of working with people who write the songs, I mean, accomplished songwriters, yeah. must be such a great sort of pinch-yourself moment. Well, can you imagine oh. that, that night 
I was, um, I've, I've, I have said this story before, but uh, that night I, I was talking with Tim Rice, whose song I've recorded on there from yeah. his new musical, Fight the Fight, it's called, from, from, from Here to Eternity. So I told Andrew Lloyd Webber, who's standing there, and I said, oh, I'm, I'm recording Tim's new song. He thought, well, I've got a song. <laughs> I went, really? He, he said, yes. He, he was, the, the, the week before, he was at a dinner. Michael Caine was uh, giving a speech to Leslie Brickus, whose 82nd birthday yeah. it was. And he said, why haven't you two ever written together? Leslie Brickus, to... great lyricist. Yeah, brilliant yeah. lyricist. Yeah. And they didn't have an answer, so Andrew said, all right, let's do it, let's take the challenge. They wrote this song, uh, which was finished on the Friday. I saw Andrew on the Tuesday and said, would you like, would you like it? And he sent it over to me. Now, of course you're thinking, what if it's rubbish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you tell Andrew Lloyd Webber the, the song you don't like? But he sent it through, and it's a song that is... It, it, I mean, it's typical of what Andrew does. He writes a melody that instantly hooks into your... Yeah. Uh, your musical psyche. And what's it called? It's called The Perfect Song. Ah, and is it? It is. It's five, ah. it's two minutes, 58 seconds. And is it on here? And it's on there. Right. And Leslie Brickus did a, the most beautiful lyric Ooh. to it. And it's, it's just a gorgeous love song. Ah, oh, well, I saw Top Hat. Um, did you enjoy uh, it? Last week. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. sensational. Love Lovely. It. All singing, all dancing. Wonderful. And it was reading stories in there about Ava uh, Astaire. Oh, we've got a, <laughs> it's a parrot. Don't worry, Everyone to crit it. a minute. <laughs> Ava Astaire talking about Irving Berlin ringing. And it's when you get this connection to the yeah. old composers and you have them with the new ones who will become legends if they're not already. Michael will be back later in the show with a performance from his latest album. But for now, my thanks for the stories and the music to come. Michael Ball. How can I think I'm standing strong Yet feel How can happiness feel so wrong? How can misery feel so sweet? How can you let me watch you sleep? Then break my dreams the way you do? How can I have got in so deep? Why did I fall in love with you? This is the closest thing to crazy I have ever been Feeling 22 And acting 17 This is the nearest thing to crazy I have ever known I was never crazy on my own And now I know that there's a link between the two Being close to craziness, being close to you Yet like a child I yearn for you How can anyone feel so wild? How can anyone feel so blue? This is the closest thing to crazy I have ever been 22 and acting 17 This is the nearest thing to crazy I have ever known I was never crazy on my own And now I know that there's a link between the two Being 
close to you Being close